Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can use a return statement with keyword arguments in our keywords section using a robot framework. So in my last video, we saw this program, which was this keyword is with argument. So if you haven't seen this video yet, I will give the link in the description below. You can go and watch that video. So in that video, we wrote this program. So basically what we were doing here is first we created the setting section. Inside the setting section, we included a library, which was the Selenium library in this case. Then we created the variable section. In this variable section, we created three variables. So first variable was for the URL one. The URL one contained practice Selenium practice form dot HTML. And then there was this second URL2. So this second variable, which was for URL2, which contained google.com. And then there was third variable, which was the browser variable, which contained the browser on which we were working. Then comes the test cases section where the test case practice form was there. And uh, we were using just two keywords here. So launching browser keyword and the inputting values keyword. So I'll just delete this comment here. And uh, so now you will see launching browser and we had the two arguments that we passed for a launching browser keyword here. There we used arguments here. So I'll just change this URL to URL one. So what this will do is it will open the browser. It will go onto the practice Selenium practice form and it will be open onto the Chrome browser. And then it will go on to this keyword here. So it will go on to this web URL. So now this web URL will be fetched from this URL one instead of directly fetching from this URL one variable. So we had the argument web URL and web browser. So these argument spaces were having these URL one and the other argument as browser. And these were fetching these values from here on from the variable section. And so after it was opening the practice Selenium practice form and opening onto it Google Chrome, it was maximizing the browser window and it was going moving on to the other part, which was the inputting values keywords. So in this inputting values keyword, it was inputting the value as coders and arcade as the first name and the second name. So now in this video, we will see how we can return any thing from the keywords using arguments in robot framework. So let's say in our launching browser keyword, we want to return some value. So let's return the title of the web page. So let's say we want to return a title of the web page in this launching browser keyword. So what we will do is there is one statement same as arguments there is one a statement called a return so first we need to return the title of the web page right so for that we need some variable to store that title so first we will create a type a variable for title so let's say we will create a variable as dollar and inside our curly braces we will just write let's say title so we need title so and to get the title of the web page there is one command called get title and this get title command what this will do is it will get the title of that particular web page that currently is open onto our browser and that title of the web page will be stored onto this variable here so this variable will contain the title and this command will be used to fetch the title of that particular web page and will be stored onto this web in this variable and then let's say we want to now return the title. So there is one command called inside our square brackets. It is return. So it is same as writing arguments here. So this is how return is written in our code. So what this will return is this will return this title here. So I'm just going to write here the same variable here. So now what this will do is 
it will fetch the title and will save the title onto this variable and then this return statement will return that particular title but note that we are just returning the title but we are not printing the title yet so there is a difference between returning something and printing something so here this whole code is just returning the title it's not printing the title to print the title we need to print the title here onto a test cases section because whatever we write here will be executed so first to print the title here we need to make another variable we need to declare another variable here that variable let's say that variable can be let's say page title so this is the variable called page title and if i give some space here so what this will do is we created another variable here and we have just put launching browser into this whole variable here so this launching browser is just a keyword with some arguments here so once the control will come here it will start executing this piece of code once this piece of code is fully executed it will return this value now this value will be stored onto this page title variable here because this whole keyword is actually returning this whole keyword is performing two tasks here first it is executing the code which is necessary so it is opening the browser it is going to that particular url which is practice in your practice form and then it is opening onto our chrome browser and then after that it is maximizing the browser window so this is its initial thing that it is doing but also it is returning some value so this whole keyword is actually returning title of the page so this returning value is stored onto this variable here in this case we are just returning the title of the web page you can return anything instead of title you can return anything basically my point here is this particular keyword launching browser is doing two things here first it is performing the task that we are giving it and then it is returning something and whatever this whole keyword is returning will be stored onto this variable that is why we wrote this whole keyword into this variable here so now whatever value this keyword will return here this whole keyword will return here will be stored onto this page title so in this case this keyword is returning the title of the page so it this title of the page will go on to this page title and now here we are going to print this variable here not this variable this variable is just for returning the value and that returned value is stored onto this title and once this returned value is returned that returned value will be stored onto this page title here this variable here so after this line we are just going to write log to console so this log to console is used to print the variable that we want to print so log to console and then here we are going to write just page title so what we are doing here is we have created a keyword launching browser that keyword is having some arguments it is having web url and web browser arguments here so this web url argument is this url1 this url1 is fetched from this variable section here and this web browser is for this variable here this variable is fetching its value from this variable section here which is chrome and it is opening the browser it is going on to that particular url which is practice selenium practice form and then it is maximizing the browser window and then it is getting the title of the page which title is stored onto this variable here and then it is returning this title here and this returned title is going on to this page title and once this page title is present here it will just print the page title and then it will move on to the inputting value code so rest of the inputting value code is this so it will start inputting the value as first name as coders and the second name as arcade so this is how we can return the value so don't be confused here actually my whole idea of making two variables here was just because this keyword is performing two tasks 
which is its main task, which is opening it, opening a browser and then maximizing the browser window. And the second task was this whole keyword is actually returning this title. So that value, which is it, which is returning that value is saved onto this variable here. And then using this variable, this variable is transferring that value to this variable here. That is why we wrote this variable first and we wrote this whole keyword after that variable. So whatever value this key, this keyword is returning, that will be stored onto this variable here. And that variable will be printed through this log to console command here. So let's try running it and see if our code is working fine. It should work fine. So if I write here robot and then automation, which is the name of our directory and then keyword, which is the name of our file. So keyword dot robot. And if I press enter here, you will see it will open the browser. Once it is loaded, it will maximize the browser window and it will just fill the first name and the last name. You see it filled the first name and the last name. So if I close this browser, you will see our test is passed. And where is our title that it returned? This is the title that it returns, the practice form. Don't be con confused. This practice form is the title of the page and this practice form is the title of our test case. So let's try this with some other URL so you'll understand better. So we already have our second URL here, which is google.com. So let's just change this argument from URL 1 to URL 2 and we are just going to comment this inputting value part. So this way we will not be executing the this keyword here. So now what will happen here? It will just launch the browser. It will go on to google.com. So it is now URL 2. It will open the browser. It will go on to this web URL. Now web URL is containing the URL 2. Instead of URL 1, now it is containing URL 2. So it will fetch the value from here. And then it, it will fetch the browser, which is the Chrome browser. And then it will maximize the browser window. Once the max, once the window is maximized, it will fetch the title of the page. Now this time, a title of the page should be Google. And that title of the page is printed with the help of the lock to console. So now let's try executing our code here. So if I press enter, you will see it will go on to Google and it has maximized the browser window. And if I close this again, you will see a test will be passed. And now this time, our name of our title is, this name, the title of the page is Google. As you see here, it returned the title, which is Google. And this is just the name of our test case here, practice form. As you can see here. Now, one more thing is I wanted to show this actually, this talk to console printed this title, this variable onto our console, right? Onto our terminal, this terminal. Now, let's say we want to print this title onto our log file, the log that it generates. So, what we will do is we have already printed the page title using log to console. I'm just going to write here log and by giving some spaces, I'm just giving that page title here. So I'm just printing using log and I'm just specifying that variable. So this variable is printed directly onto log file. So it will print log to console as well. So it will print onto console and the log file, both the places page title will be printed. So now let's execute a program again. So this time it will be quick because it's just opening the google.com. And if I close this, you see our test is passed. Now, since this page title should be printed onto a log file, let's check our log file here. If I go to log, if I right click onto it, and if I open that into a browser, let's say you want to open it into a Chrome browser. See, this is our log file here. And if I go here, you see this keyword here, log, log page title here. So 
you will see the title of a page is Google. So it printed this title onto this blog file. And if we go to report, you will be able to see our test is passed. Everything is green. And this is our log file here. So this is how you can print anything. You can return any value using the keyword arguments in a robot framework. And this is our code. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.